Today, John's going to show you how to take hardwood cuttings. We're going to use this dogwood bush, which is also known as cornus. Hardwood cuttings and taking them is a great way to increase your plant stock for your garden, whether you're growing plants for friends or even for the school fate. Welcome to our Somerset Garden. I'm Melanie, one half of John Horsey Horticulture, teaching you gardening skills such as sowing seed, pruning, how to take cuttings. If that's the sort of thing you enjoy learning, whether you're new to gardening or whether you're just like a refresh, do consider subscribing to our channel. But in the meantime, do also press the notification bell, which will just let you know every time we upload a new video. Uh, hardwood cuttings are those which are taken off a plant later in the year, usually when the leaves have fallen off and of course the wood has had a chance to ripen up, hence the word hardwood. Uh, we can take a range of trees and shrubs in this way, uh, particularly well known for, for this process are things like your salix, your willows and your corner dogwoods and this is the one I'm going to use today. This is a lovely purple leafed um, dogwood and uh, uh, I, I need to propagate it so I'm going to be taking some cuttings off of it. In this plant here we've got quite a few of the new shoots going outwards so they're the obvious ones to be cut back both from the point of view of good, good propagation material and also get them out of the way so I'm going to clip those off fairly low down. Little, you don't want these, these small weedy ones, leave those but the thick ones will do very well indeed. Right, so here we are, we've um, collected our cuttings from the uh, other side and now we're going to put these in as hardwood cuttings. Uh, compost, uh, well drained, uh, something like John in this with a bit of extra sand, which is what I've got here to, to make it make, make sure it's really well drained. Now some people actually put hardwood cuttings straight into the ground and you can do that, dig a bit of sand in and put them in uh, and, and uh, just leave them. The beauty of a hardwood cutting, of course, is that you don't have to worry about how it's, it's going to grow. You don't have to worry about losing water or anything, because you're just going to put it in and leave it until it grows. It may, may not start rooting until the spring, it may not be usable until next autumn, but because you don't have to worry about it, it can stay. Um, I tend to compromise, I tend to put, it, put them in a pot like this, and I'll sink that pot in the ground in a sheltered spot, which does mean, of course, that if it does get in the way, I can move it. Anyway, here we are. It's quite a sim si simple um, process of cutting them back. Uh, pencil, pencil size is, is a really good size to go for. I'm going to go just below the node there. Yeah, and I'm going to, I should probably want about th three or four inches there. So we'll go up to a piece there. That's right. Now, with, with um, hardwood cuttings, we tend to have a point at the top, and the reason for that is it helps to drain the water off. So I find a little node there, there's a nice little node. I'm going across at an angle. There we are. Perfect little hardwood cutting. Hold in the compost, pop it in, about an inch sticking out, and there we are. Done. And just repeat that, you can actually use the same piece of wood if it's, uh, if, if it's fine. <laughs> so here we are again, we'll go to the bottom there, just cut below a node. And uh, four or five inches up there, find a nice little slanty cut for the top. There we are, and in that one goes. Here we are, and work our way around the pot. You can use the same piece of wood over and over again because they're uh, going to be fine for that. So uh, up below a node. Cut off the lower node, and up here there's a nice cut a slanty piece to drain them, and really as many as you want. I mean, it, you, you can do things like willows and cornus, uh, salix and, 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 and cornus in, in clusters, and I'm sure you're aware sometimes you put pussy willow in water, it, 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 it will root. So it should be quite an easy process to do. But you can do it with a whole range of things. Um, the rambler and climbing roses t take, take very well. And you know, it's worth trying on almost any shrub um, and, and, and just see how it does. But a useful way of propagating things in the winter without having to worry about their aftercare too much. Okay, so he, here's, here's a little pot of, of hardwood cuttings we've done. I'm just going to uh, make a little hole uh, and shove the pot down in there. And that will keep it, uh, it'll keep it nice and moist. And it means I won't have to worry too much about, uh, about them drying out or anything. So out we go until it's big enough to get in there. In it goes just nicely. Put the soil back around it 
and I can leave it. Look, a little snowdrop coming up there, bless it. And we can put that soil back around there and that will come around it. And I've forgotten to label it, but I will label it in just a moment. And there's our plant. Little hardwood cuttings waiting. Um, and we'll just leave them until they start rooting. It's, 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 it is possible just to make a trench in the ground, put a bit of soil in and stick them in. But I think if you put them in a pot, you've got a bit more control over it. If you enjoyed that but would like to learn more, do consider subscribing to our channel. Be sure to press that notification bell, which will just let you know every time we upload a new video. We've so enjoyed having you in our Somerset garden and we look forward to welcoming you again.